I do have some bad news. I think I've hinted at this before, but I'm taking this tank down. It's gotta go. This is the first time I've really looked at it with the lights on because I'm usually out of the house and back when the lights are off. There's a lot of Aptasia in this tank. It's horrendous. Oh my God. I, I have really never looked at this tank. I haven't looked at this tank in a really long time, but oh my God. It's a field of it. Let's all that up. You get able to get that? Yeah, dude. Right down on my carpet. You put your fing couch right in front of the door. <laughs> Having issues? Alright, so we finally found the starfish, which I couldn't find in the last video. But this is one of them. I think there was two of them. Dude, sick. I'm gonna go throw him in the 20 real quick. Where is it? The lone survivor. <laughs> There's a crab too. Is there another one? I I had put two in there. Fish in the coral. Fish out of the candy hog fish. Oh, that's a She's a a handful. Yeah. She's definitely a terror. Definitely got a body count on her. Oh, there's another surface. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, that thing is sliding, holy sh**. That one's got more weight on it. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Yeah, baby. This tank needs to look so good. Is it a starfish in there too? No, it's a starfish in this one. Kind of suck as much of the sand out. There's so much aptasia in this tank, it's disgusting. Is it from stars? Is it chunky? It might be Oh, shoot. It might be the second one of those too. So besides all the coral dying, it looks like all the creatures do. Feels like such an end of an era. How long have you had this tank? Uh, I set it up, probably went to law school, so like two, three years ago now. And it looked so nice, and then when I moved, it like never was really the same, and then a bacterial bloom got in the ATO, and it just started pumping up the tank, and just everything went. All right, Jared, what are you doing? Uh, the big one? Yeah, the big one. That was not. See, when I said big one, I meant like the plug-in, but the radio plug's a small one. That one might be a little bigger than average, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I should use on it? Just water and just... Yeah, vinegar. Even on our days off, still fish tank activities. Every day, can't stop, life. won't stop. It's a lifestyle. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Very expensive, time-consuming lifestyle. Is that going to the 82 for your hogfish? Yeah, she's gonna be trying to eat for now. I'm gonna probably bring her to the store. Oh! Oh! Come on, dude, get it already. She's fast. There you go. Like a professional. So you can do this for a little bit. It's almost like a vendor. Wow. Let's see her swim away. Mm -hmm. Oh, another rock. Yeah, I never even thought about putting command hooks on the side of the tank to like hang something. It's such a smart idea. It's nice for the towels. Yeah. Probably your other corals that you uh, gave to your buddy to pull on to. Uh, I checked in one time. He said everything was good, and I haven't checked in since because I don't really want to know the answer. We'll just find out when we find out. <laughs> That's about it. Well, you're going to have some cleaning to do. I'm cleaning the Electronics off. You just leave them on. Uh, you could, on. yeah. We won't be mad. I'll give you the scraper. That's very generous. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. That water coming out of that thing was like Chili King after Chipotle. When are we going? It's quivering. <laughs> <laughs> the 
we see how disgusting this yeah, bucket is. <laughs> Thicker than Lizzo. What you think right now? Look at that stance. He's done this a time or two. Oh, yeah. I've done this one. <laughs> this is why you shop at Top Shelf Aquatics. Even on our days off, we're still doing fish tank shit. All we care about is the yeah. fish. <laughs> fish are the number one priority always. Fish are friends. Yep, exactly. Not food. You're lying about these pro aquatics. They're nice. All right. All right, we finally got the tank clean. He's backing up the truck. You excited? So excited. Yeah, the shirt is kind of nice. So I'm actually going to start doing merch with this shirt material, whatever you want to call it. It's actually super nice, so I will let you guys know more when that comes out. It's going to be a simple logo. The type of shirt material is so nice. I was like, I definitely got to get more people into these shirts. Yeah, we have a mower back here, too, that we had picked up today, so that would be interesting. <laughs> Just smash right into the glass. Yeah. Coming back and seeing just like, I haven't seen this wall since I've moved in. It's it's gonna look so weird when I'm watching TV and there's just nothing there. I'll probably have to get like a fake plan or something. I don't know, something. Feet underneath, the incorporate. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. So much later without a tank. Yeah, right? Or we just gonna fucking close the door and flip it on the side. Might want to get up there real quick. You think it's like standing up right there? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Walk it like you talk, huh? Walk it like a dog. <laughs> That's like perfect. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just like right up against the glass. Just slam it. Just slam it closed. All right, let's close it up. Like a glove. That's so weird. There's nothing there anymore. I, I, I'm just so not used to that now. That's, that's crazy. We gotta let the putt, the mutts out. You've been waiting there this whole time? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, Danny? Hey, let's show the people. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. All right, now I gotta clean all this up. So I gave Jared some of the equipment, but I definitely have a lot left here. Gotta clean up this doser and the dosing unit that will go on the 25 uh this mp10 will go on the 40 in the anemone tank this radion will go on the peninsula so a lot of this is just going to go into storage the ato however i'm gonna i have another pump and i have another hose so that way you know all i'm really using are the old sensors but everything else that's like been really in the water that'll be all new all the rock now is out there just cooking in the sun that's gonna be all the rock that i use for the 40 anemone tank because i want to do the big peninsula and all haitian and all real rock because i have a bunch in the 80 and i've got more and i can always, i know where to find more so that'll be the whole big tank but all that marco rock's gonna go in the 40 tank all right now we gotta do some cleanup all right we got that pump into the sink now let's vacuum this up real quick all clean just about done there she is getting used to her new tank let's go ahead and feed them 
auto feeder I haven't fixed in a while. I'm trying to get her used to where they're gonna eat, where they eat. So I kind of always feed, so let's see if she figures it out. Okay, she hasn't figured out the whole feeding hole thing, but as the pellets are falling, there she goes grabbing them. So she, so she's adjusting. So she's adjusting. So she's adjusting just fine. That took like five takes. That was kind of a tongue twister. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for this video. Wait, no, we got rid of that. They're both gone now. I just finished filming that video, editing it right now. We took down the 80 gallon and brought that to the new owner's house. So there is just a whole bunch of room now. My stress level will come down because I don't have as much to worry about. Everything is in there now. So that's gonna be a lot easier for me to manage. But if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Comment what you think I should fill this space with. Although I am currently looking at new houses to move, so there might be a bit of delay or not even a need for whatever will go there. Uh, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the support that you guys give me. But until next time, I'll see you then.